All right, so today is crazy day at our house. It is Monday and we are doing lots of things like cleaning up from the weekend, um, going to swim lessons, dodging a crazy severe weather day in my area and a lot of other things. So this week is crazy. We're gonna be doing some crock pot meals this week and just gonna show you guys what I do on Monday and Wednesdays because Monday and Wednesdays is our swim lesson day and that takes like an hour, almost an hour to drive one way and an hour to drive back. And they're from like four to five o'clock. So by the time we get home, it is dinner time. And I'm not trying to grab fast food because that's not really gonna be helpful to my healthy eating plan. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, today we're gonna be doing the wipe your mouth barbecue. And my crock pot is like my lifesaver when things get crazy busy around here. Or I use my Amero Lagasse. You guys have probably seen me use that in some other videos that I've done when I'm like really in a hurry to do rice, especially brown rice because brown rice takes a lot longer to cook and it cooks much faster in that Amira Lagasse. So if you guys want one of those, I'll put a link in the description below to where I got mine. But the only ingredients that you guys are going to need is some chicken breast. You're going to need uh, apple cider vinegar, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, super sweet, or a stevia blend. Totally up to you, but I'm using super sweet today. Pepper, a can of tomatoes, like diced tomatoes, and you can use like Rotel if you have that. That's what I had and that's what I'm using. You just need a little tiny bit of some tomato paste and some liquid smoke. And if you guys have blackstrap molasses, you can totally use that. I'll show you guys what I used in mine. And I got this at the like um, Amish food store that's near me. So I'm sure you can get it at health food stores or whatever, but this is the um, one that I had and it's not very sweet. Uh, it is molasses, but it's not very sweet. And I also use that to make like the, um, I, what is it called? Syrup. There we go. I can think it's really, it's Monday, you guys, the syrup for the pancakes when I'm doing like breakfast for dinner or those type of meals. So basically all I'm going to be doing is throwing all those ingredients that I told you about minus the chicken. The chicken just went straight in the crock pot first into a blender and I'm going to be using my handy dandy ninja three in one that I love and has been a godsend to me <laughs> doing trim healthy mama stuff. So I'm going to be using that and just blending up all those ingredients that I showed or that I just told you about and I'll share with you guys the recipe in the description below. So don't forget to check down there but let's go ahead and get started making this really easy crock pot dinner so that I can go get ready for the day because y'all I haven't even like put my makeup on yet. I just wash my face, brush my teeth and I think I brushed my teeth. Yeah, I brushed my teeth. It's almost noon. I'm like, <laughs> I've been going since seven and I did not get much sleep last night. So uh, it's been it's been a little crazy uh, around here this weekend. So I hope I like this recipe. It's a new one for me. So I am excited to try it. I'm gonna be putting mine on the Extreme Wellness by Olay. Kind of like I always use these store-bought wraps and they're really handy for me to have around. So if you guys have a different option you wanna do, you can put it on Kali rice. Um, whatever you want to do. I may even still do some cauliflower rice and like put that in the bottom of my wrap and then put some chicken on top. We'll see when I get there. I'm not there yet. It's early in the day and I'm still trying to work it out.
I decided to take you along with me while I get ready for the day. And these lights in my bathroom are incredibly harsh, but you know what? I'm just gonna deal with it. They just like make the bags under my eyes look ridiculously large, but here we go. Just getting ready for the day today and trying to uh, process my week. Got a lot of stuff done this morning so far. Got the dishes done, vacuumed the floor, took care of all of the mom duties for the day. And now it's time to get my face on. <laughs> and uh, get out of here. So I told you guys I didn't get much sleep last night, so the bags are a little cray-cray under my eyes today, but you know, it's just part of it, and um, it's just part of the not sleeping thing. I didn't get much sleep last night, and I kind of had a rough day. Uh, missing my dad and stuff like that, so you guys have been following me for a while. Know that my dad passed away recently, and sometimes, like, a lot of the external things that are going on around me can really just stress me out, like, crazy bad and I get sad and then I don't sleep well and um, I don't eat well and that's what I've been doing for the last 24 hours is not eating well and not sleeping well and this is like a byproduct of that every single time I get like really puffy eyes and I already have like really puffy eyes to begin with and I've tried like all the things like everything that there is out there to fix these like cold spoons and eye creams and I use this right now and um, it's not really making a big difference for puffiness, but I really use it for the lines. Uh, I love using this face roller, not because I feel like it's made a huge difference in any way, like I can't visibly see it. It just feels good. Like, so it's kind of like a face mas massage for me. <laughs> and so I like using it. So if you don't have a face roller, you should definitely try it. Uh, I just really like doing it for I don't know, making myself feel better, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, this little tiny part is cold, so it does help a little bit with the puffiness uh, under my eyes, but this light in my bathroom is not my best friend, so <laughs> we're just gonna have to look past all that today. I've been trying this new product to get ready for summer, and I wanted to share that with you while I'm getting ready today. I have been introduced to this product called New Skin, and New Skin is like a company that has all kinds of skincare products and um, vitamins and different things like that. I really don't know a lot about all the things that they have to offer, but I have started using their self tanner and I really love it. So here's the tanner that I've been using. I've been using the, I don't know, it's really bright. See this light, it's just, can you see me? <laughs> It's really bad in this bathroom. Oh well. Um, but the this is the tanner. There we go. It does not leave streaks and it doesn't leave like that orangey, splotchy yuck all over your skin. It doesn't smell funky. But I've used it on my legs a couple times and it's given me a really great glow. So if you guys want to try it, I will uh, put a link in the description for you guys to grab and you can even save 10% if you use that link. And uh, yeah, if you guys like it and you wanna invite your friends to use it, you can just copy and paste that link and text it to them or uh, reach out to me if you lose it and I'll be glad to get you information for, um, you know, how you can get your hands on some more of this to get your glow going. I got this tanner kind of just in time for spring to arrive because, you know, it's time to start wearing the shorter shorts and the damage that the sun causes to our skin is just not cool. So uh, yeah, I'm not a really big fan of sitting out in the sun or going into tanning beds. I really do like being in the sun, but I will wear some sunscreen. And I didn't always used to be that way when I was younger. I just kind of did whatever I wanted. And I uh, wore, you know, no sunscreen at all. <laughs> and then I decided as I got older, I should probably care more about my skin, not just for like vanity sake, but just for the health of, you know, my skin in general so that I can be healthy. So I don't get skin cancer from the sun, all that kind of stuff. And for vanity sake as well, because you know, Hey, I don't want to have a bunch of splotchy marks all over my face. Like I already have like this sun marker here on my face. I have several of them over here, some on my hands even because I just didn't wear sunscreen for so long because I don't get burned. I can sit in the sun. I mean, I'd have to really be in the sun for a super long time before I actually get a sunburn. So I decided a couple of years ago to start using self tanners and I was a little like apprehensive of them at first just because I always had this like idea that I was gonna have orange skin and I didn't wanna do spray tan so 
I just wanted to be subtle about it. So I started using that Jergens and Jergens is like, uh, I think it's Jergens Glow or something like that. And it's been great, but it's not uh, giving me the results that I'm getting from trying this new one this year. And it also has like a really pretty shimmer to it when you put it on and I've never actually used a tanning gel. This is not just like a lotion, it's a gel. So it's like a lot easier to get in all the places that you wanna get it evenly and not be stuck with like splotchy yellow marks all over your skin. So if you guys wanna try it, um, check out the link in the description and you guys can save 10% off of yours. That's kind of what I did. I just uh, saw a friend online who was using it and I was like, girl, your legs be looking so good. <laughs> what are you using? And she's like, something. she said, this stuff right here. So I'd never really heard of it before. And maybe you've heard of new skin before. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. But uh, if you want to save 10% off your first order, just click the link in the description and I'll pin it in the comments so it's easy for you to find as well. But there's lots of links in the description for you guys to find lots of other things that I'm using. And that was my super quick get ready for the day, not look like crazy sleepy. I still look sleepy. <laughs> I do, I know, but uh, not look as sleepy. There we go, my glasses hide it all. <laughs> so thanks for getting ready with me. I think this is about it. I'm probably actually gonna stick my hair back up in a ponytail and go for the day, maybe, depends. It's really rainy outside where I am today. So uh, yeah, Tennessee weather in the spring is not my friend and I cut off a bunch of my hair so I can't even do the things I'm used to doing. <laughs> with it because it's so little anyways I don't know and I'm not very good with like hairstyles I need to like get better at figuring them all out look what happens when I put it to the side now except for that that's not supposed to happen there we go look it's not working <laughs> and then it falls out mm, there it is doesn't work anymore so well I wanted it this way because I was losing a lot of my hair and I just started taking this collagen this liquid collagen that I really love so far and it's been I'm still really new to using it so I'm not sure like it's real long-term effects but uh, I have felt better since taking it pull my hair back up so it's not really like frizzing out everywhere because I don't run with umbrellas in the rain very well <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna go with this today, it'll be fine. There we go. swim lesson day so that means it's another crock pot meal so today we're going to be doing the rich and tender stew from the original trim healthy mama cookbook i've not done this stew before and i'm actually going to be doing it a little bit different than the trim healthy mama cookbook says to because i don't have some of these ingredients and i don't really think i would like it this way so i'm doing it just a little bit different and i'm going to put mine on collie rice that i had left over from monday's crock pot meal and then just find something to put with it for my family since i'm not like putting potatoes in it like i normally would like a beef stew and carrots and all the stuff normally just throw it all in one thing and go but i can't eat the starches or i can but i'm not going to eat the starches and Today's the perfect day for a beef stew because it's cold outside again. Like it got super warm here last week and we were all up in our summer attire. And now I'm like back in the, the oversized hoodies and <laughs> like 
freezing coats and all the things running back outside. So let's go ahead and quick do this crock pot recipe. And then I got to jump out the door to go to swim lessons. And this is just a busy season for me. It's not always going to be this way. But right now it's just a busy season and God's got me like going in some different directions in my business and some other things. So I'm just trying to keep it all together right now. And uh, yeah, we'll just get through it together. You guys are with me, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go do this crock pot recipe. And I hope you guys love this one. I've not done it. I didn't do, I had never tried the um, one that I showed you guys from Monday either, but I ended up really liking it. I like it a lot. My family liked it too, except for the baby, but everybody else liked it. This is another brand new one that I've not done, but I can't see why I wouldn't like it because I like all the ingredients in it. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> 